Okay, so if you've ever typed anything into a terminal window, you've used standard in and standard out. And if you've ever had any command show you an error, you've used standard error. Standard input is represented by file descriptor 0, standard output is file descriptor 1, and standard error is file descriptor 2. So what is a file descriptor? You can think of a file descriptor sometimes referred to as a file handle as an abstract representation of a file. So for example, file descriptor 0 points to reading from our keyboard file. File descriptor 1 points to writing to our screen, and file descriptor 2 points to writing to our error file, which bash redirects to file descriptor 1 automatically so we see errors on our screen. So let's start by redirecting standard out. If we echo some text and redirect it to a file, our new file will be created and our text will be written to it. By default, bash interprets our redirect as redirecting standard out. We can do this explicitly by adding a 1 before our greater than sign with no spaces in between. Now let's have a look at redirecting standard error. The simplest way that we can do this is to tell bash to run a command that doesn't exist. So we get a command not found error. Now let's try and redirect that error to a file. We get some output on the screen, and if we ls, we can see that our error file has actually been created. Everything looks good so far, so let's cut out our error file and see what's inside. It's empty. Let's try that again, but this time let's explicitly redirect standard error to our file. This time we didn't get any output on the screen, so let's cut out our error file and see if there's anything in there. Our redirection worked. Now let's try and redirect both standard out and standard error to a file. I have a tiny Python script that will write some text to standard out and standard error. If we run it and redirect standard out to a file, we will just get what it would print to standard error on the screen. And if we cat out.txt, we will get the text that was sent to standard out. So to get both standard out and standard error redirected to the same file, we could redirect standard error to standard out and then just redirect standard out to a file. So let's try that. Now we need to redirect standard out to our file. Let's hit enter and see what happens. So it seemed to work, so let's see if we have the file that we were expecting. We have our both.txt file, but it looks like we have another file called one as well. Let's cat them out and see what happened. So both.txt contains our standard out text. What about one? So it looks like our standard error text went into this file. So let's delete these files and fix our command. Okay, so first we had our standard error output go into a file called one. So there is something missing that we need to do to tell bash that we mean file descriptor one and not a file called one. The missing part is an ampersand before the one with no spaces. So now that should fix that problem. Let's try it again. Okay, so that's different. Now we've got standard error text printed to the screen. And if we ls, we can see that the standard out text has been written to the file. So what's going on? So let's go over this line. Bash is evaluating this line from left to right. So the first command is run our Python program. Next is redirect standard error to standard out. So whatever standard out is at that exact time, redirect standard error there. And finally, we're saying that standard out is now both.txt. If we think about this as a list, it will become more clear. So first on our list is run std.py. Next is redirect file descriptor 2 to file descriptor 1, which is currently the screen, so we can put write errors to the screen. And next we're saying that file descriptor 1 is now pointing to both.txt, so 1 is both.txt. So to fix the issue that we're having, we could just reorder our command a little. So first we run our Python script, then we redirect standard out to both.txt, and finally we redirect standard error to standard out. And if we ls and cat our both.txt file, we can see that both standard out and standard error are now being redirected to the same file. As with most things, there is a shortcut method to accomplish the same effect, and that is to just redirect ampersand, which is shorthand for saying we want to redirect both standard out and standard error. And finally, let's go over redirecting standard in. It's quite rare that you will need to redirect standard in, but it is simple to do, so it can't hurt to know how to do it. So let's say that you have a command or program that won't accept a file name as input, and it's insistent that all input comes from the keyboard or file descriptor zero. We want to give it a file, so let's just use our both.txt file and cat as the example command. So with cat, we can just give it a file name and it will spit out the contents of that file, but let's pretend it won't. 
So we redirect file descriptor zero to read from our file and not the keyboard file like this. And as file descriptor zero is the default when we use the less than sign, we don't need to have the zero there. So we can just cat less than and the file that we want to use. So I hope you found this useful and thanks for watching. Goodbye.